This Halloween we've created a new experience where sound takes centre stage. We're combining perfectly synchronised motion, immersive media and 3D audio to create a terrifying experience. Look at all this kit. What were they looking for? So this is a very collaborative project. Um, Audio and visual uh, is mixed with uh, SFX all the way through, so uh, we have uh, alterations in what you see, the audio will match that, and the sound effects down to, to wind and motion will all be blend seamlessly from the top to the finish. As, as the it gets more intensive, so does your ride, um, and, and a lot of the SFX that are used, particularly in the finale, will hopefully surprise and shock people. Are you okay? I can see you We've created a 3D soundscape, which is made up of a number of audio events, which are triggered in real time when certain actions are performed by the guest. And this really helps to make the entire experience interactive and personal. <laughs> oh my God. There's been a huge focus on um, the tactile side of things. So everything you can see in your immediate surroundings, you can touch from the, the ride vehicle that you see yourself going around in, you can touch and feel that, to the buttons you press to control yourself going up and down, even to the torch you are holding that is um, realised in, in reality as well as the virtual space, and they all work as they should do when you, you're in the virtual thing. The idea of that is to, to kind of immerse you even more into, into the experience. I'm going to head down further, but don't worry. When he fixes your power, just keep coming down. I'll race you to the bottom. So what's really interesting is the technology we use here, we actually have taken from our enterprise sector, where we use the same immersive technology to train people on health and safety and working at heights. <laughs> because we are tracking uh, where you're looking, what you're holding, what you're touching and what you're doing at any given moment, we're able to create real-time events based on that. So, for example, you are in a big metallic lift sort of going down. If you were to rock side by side, we know you're rocking side by side and the physical cage will be rocking side by side with you to simulate the motion. We have uh, scares that happen at various intervals throughout. Um, these are usually triggered by things like audio behind you. If you were to turn around and look at them, shine a torch on there, that's when we trigger certain events. So we, we, we play around with the space 